Hey, this is Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. I got to ask this question a little while ago. Can I create a fillable PDF in Google Docs? And the answer is yes, using an add-on, and I'll show you how to do it in this video. But before I do, hit that subscribe button because I create all this content specifically for you. Now, I'm showing you a very basic way of creating a fillable uh, PDF using Google Docs. And you need three things to do it. Number one is you need a template. You need a document that's dressed up. This is very flat, very simple template. But you need a template that represents the PDF that you want to be able to create once you put the data in here. And when you create your template, you need to put variables. These are all variables. You need, and, and these are case sensitive. So you put your variables in here and you need to get a list of all those variables so that you can then do the next, the third step. And third step is to create a form. So you create a Google form and each one of the variables is a field in your Google form. And you'll see it's all uh, case sensitive. Let me make sure that one was case sensitive. Contract date, it is, good. Purpose, all case sensitive. So I've got my template with my variables and I got my Google form. Now, here's the next thing you need to do. The next thing you need to do is you need, uh, when, you, when you fill this data out, you're gonna put it in, it's gonna go, responses are gonna go to a spreadsheet. So make sure your responses go to a spreadsheet. And then here's my Google Sheet with my data that I'm collecting. This is automatic, it's collected every time, okay? Now, here's the next big thing. The next big thing is you need to get the extension called Autocrat. And Autocrat's an extension for Google Sheets. to work in Google Workspace or Gmail, because I'm in Gmail right now. So you gotta go get that extension. Here's the URL to it. I'll put this in the notes so you can get to it. And you've gotta install Autocrat. Again, it's gonna work with your spreadsheets, extensions, Autocrat. You got your sample Google Doc that's got the variables in it that is your template. You've got your Google Form that has the variables in it that you're collecting the data in the Google Form. You've installed Autocrat into your Google Sheet so that you can get the, uh, get to that Autocrat uh, extension. Now, let's go launch this and let's go set up Autocrat pulling data out of a Google Sheet that's populated by a Google Form and then put into a Google document. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna hit new job. I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna hit next. It wants to know uh, what what document am I going to get? Uh, choose a Google slide. It really it really means document. So I'm going to go from Drive, and here's my fillable PDF document. I want to I want to fill this out. Now I got to hit next. Now here's what it wants to do. It wants to map these variables to these maps in the column. And look. Because I told you they were case sensitive, you got to match them up, they align them. So the fact that I got them all in there exactly right, they align. But if you didn't use name, you would have to go and manually map this together. But again, case sensitive no matter what you do. So it automatically mapped because, again, the names in the form match the case sensitive names in the document. So it lined up perfectly for me. Now I can hit next. Now it wants to know where I want to put this and what name do I want to put in it. Now here's what's really cool. I can use variables in here. So I can say this is a contract for name on contract date. Again, all case sensitive and I'm naming the, the file with the name and the contract date. Now, when I export, do I want to export as a Google Doc or a PDF? I'm going to automate the ex export of PDF, leave it as multiple output mode, and then hit next. And then I want to put, where do I want to put the PDF? I can hit choose, select. 
I want to put the PDF in my Google Docs stuff. Put it wherever you want to put it. And hit select. And then hit next. This is optional dynamic reference. Hit next. Now I got to tell it how often to do it. Add condition. Timestamp equals null. Or I can say when contract date equals not, uh, null, which means something new's in there. I can hit next. I can make the document shareable or not if I want to. Hit next. Run on trigger. Yes. I got to enable triggers on that document. Triggers are basically this. When something happens in this form, it basically creates a trigger. So I hit yes. And then I hit save. Now I'm done. It's all set up, ready to be running. So I'm going to close this out. Now, again, template, Google Form, case-sensitive variables. The variables in the, in the Google Doc must match the variables in the Google Form to make it easier. Then go to the spreadsheet for the Google Form and execute and set up your autocrat trigger. Now I'm going to fill out a Google Form. I'm going to hit uh, Preview, which get, basically gives it to me to see. I'm going to submit my form, and that's all I need to do. Now, if I did this right, what should have happened is Autocrat should have grabbed that data from this spreadsheet, and look, I can see right here that it's already done it. The information is right there, merged information. So now if I go back to my Google Drive, I go back to Google Docs stuff, and I should be able to hit refresh. PDF, contract for Teddy Burris on 4-10-2022, and this is what it looks like. Let me summarize one more time. Create a Google Doc that looks the way you want the PDF to look, and everywhere where you want to put data, put a merge variable and make sure it's case sensitive. Create a Google Form where you can collect the data that you need based on each one of those case sensitive merge variables. Then look at the Google sheet and make sure and add Autocrat as an extension, add-ons, get add-ons and get Autocrat. I'll put the link to it in the notes. Once you have Autocrat installed, then you can go and you can open Autocrat. You can create a new job and when you create the new job, you want to select the document you want the data from, the form you want to, get, the, the document you want to fill out, the form you want to use, align all the, the case sensitive uh, variables to uh, appropriately, decide where you want to save it, decide where you want to name it, decide you want it to be a PDF or a Google Doc, and then save your job, and you can experiment with it, and you can create fillable PDFs using Google Docs, Google Forms, and Autocrat. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. Practice doing this. Where I usually got in trouble was case-sensitive variables, but I know it works, and I really enjoyed using it, and I think you will as well.